I'm an RV tech and I put on a disguise and went undercover at dealership so I could tell you which RVs are quality and which are overpriced lemons. In today's review, we're going to be looking at a Gresh RV. This is their Strata Ion Class B, the brand new 2025 year model. Even if you're not shopping for this RV, you should still watch this video because I'll be talking about some battery charging considerations. If you're new to my channel, I have a free RV shopping course and there is a paid version of it that comes with a grading app you'll be watching me use in today's video. First question in my app is asking about the type of water heater. Now this RV actually has hydronic heat in it. The hydronic system is both for the water heater and replaces the furnace. This is like a really expensive upgrade feature and hydronic systems I give 10 out of 10 points. Next question in my app asks about the type of roof. It's a Mercedes Class B like it has a steel van roof. 10 out of 10 points. One thing to keep in mind is that this is built in the Mercedes Sprinter van chassis. These are very quality but unfortunately they're also very high cost for maintenance. Next question in the app is about the refrigerator and it's a little disappointed to see the Nova Cool refrigerator. They're not the highest quality in my opinion. Opinion, but I give them six out of ten points. Next question in my app is about the air conditioner and this has a rooftop Gree brand AC and heat pump. 15,000 BTUs. That is like pretty big overkill for a class B. You're not going to have any trouble cooling this thing down. Now Gree is a name brand I've literally never heard of until I saw this RV. So my 10 out of 10 points is giving it the benefit of the doubt. Leave a comment if you have a Gree air conditioner and let me know if it's been serving you well or if it's given you any problems. Next question in my app is about the cabinet quality and I was very pleased to see that this RV has actual wood doors and plywood cabinet boxes. Most RVs are building their cabinet boxes out of lumber core material which has MDF layers under a vinyl wrap. This has solid wood or plywood which is much more resistant to water damage. This gets 10 out of 10 points. Next question in my app is about the countertops and and the kitchen countertop here is solid surface, which is very high quality. This gets 10 out of 10 points for the countertop quality. My next question in my app is about slide systems. And because this does not have a slide system, I still give 10 out of 10 points in this category because you're never going to have a slide failure. Some people in my comments say you should never buy an RV with slide outs. I disagree. I full-timed in a motorhome that had a slide out for three years and never had an issue with it. There are many types of slide systems that are reliable, but there are ones that are hugely problematic and I would never buy. This is why you should get my RV shopping course. I designed my shopping course to empower people like you to know what you're looking at so you can buy something with a quality slide system. Next question in my app is going to be about plumbing and I was happy to see that it appears they used all PEX plumbing with a special PEX lock clamp. 10 out of 10 points for the plumbing system on this RV. If you're new here and wondering why I'm talking about plumbing, I'll link a video at the end that explains how many new RVs are plumbed in correctly that results in water leaks and how you can identify and avoid them. This van has like 16,000 amp hours of battery capacity. We're talking like I think 10 lithium ion batteries. I mean that'll power this thing to Timbuktu. The problem is that many lithium batteries can very quickly overwhelm an alternator. One cool feature that I want to talk about here is there is a voltage regulator between the alternator and the battery pack. If you put an upgraded battery pack on your RV without a voltage DC to DC charger, like something to regulate the charge coming off your engine, it can be tripping the breaker or blowing fuses or worse, damaging the engine alternator. So a good battery setup, if you have this kind of upgraded battery pack, is going to have a DC to DC charger like the wake speed regulator that they put in this Gresh van. The final question in my app is about fit and finish. And once again, I was very pleased to see that everything was clean and tight and well put together. The total score for this van was a 96 on my rigor scale. It really only lost points on the type of refrigerator that they put into it. I was just starry eyed and happy wandering around looking at it. Honestly, I would really expect as much like they're asking $279,000 as the MSRP on this. Like, dang folks, that's a lot of money for a van. If you want to believe that because it has a high price tag, it'll always be quality. That's just not true. I look at so many motorhomes more expensive than this that have the worst plumbing I've ever seen in an RV. Dollars does not equal quality in the 
RV industry. But would I recommend buying this Class B RV? If it suits your RV needs and you have the money for it, yes, this is a quality van. If you want to see more of my undercover reviews of Class B RVs, click here. If you want to see all of my undercover reviews, click here.